everyone, this is Brandy. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you all how to remove dark under eye circles. So let's go on and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate your background layer. And I do that by clicking Control J on my keyboard. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on your patch selection tool. So mine is right here, but yours may be under here somewhere. So you just right click it. <laughs> Select that. And now I'm going to click Control and the plus sign on my keyboard to zoom in to my subject's eyes. Next, I'm going to click and start to draw a, a circle type shape around my subject's under eyes. Uh, I'm avoiding the deep creases as well as the uh, eyelashes of my subject. That was a little tacky. Let me try again. Now click and drag your selection down to an area where the skin color is pretty normal and where the texture is similar to the under eye. Okay, so already we're seeing some progress, but it's a little too dramatic. So what we need to do is go to Edit, Fade Patch Selection. So this does exactly what it sounds like. It fades what you've selected. So if I were to take this bar and take it all the way down to the left side, the effect is completely gone. And if I take it all the way up to the right side, it's very dramatic. So we want to find kind of a middle ground to where it looks pretty normal. So I'm going to take mine to 50%. And that looks pretty good, but I'm just going to lower it that was my phone, sorry. And I'm just going to lower it to about 45. And that's good. And then click outside of your selection to deselect. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other eye. Zoom in. Now I'm going to click and start to draw around. Remember to avoid the crease in the eyelashes. Now I'm going to just drag it down. So let's see. About right there is fine. Click on Edit, Fade Patch Selection. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Find a middle ground and take it to about, I guess, 40. 45, just like the other. And now click outside of your selection to deselect. So if after you've done the uh, fade selection, uh, you can go over here to your opacity and lower it if you still need to lower that. So I'm going to go about right there. So before, and you guys after. have never used the patch selection tool, now is the time to start. Uh, it gets rid of so many quote unquote flaws in your images. Um, for another example, I'm gonna go on and flatten this. Uh, the, she had a mosquito bite on her forehead and she had scratched it off and obviously her parents didn't want that in the picture. So here's an easy way to get rid of it. So I'm gonna click Control J on my keyboard and I'm just going to select around it. And just like we did with the under eyes, I'm just going to click and drag. And with this, I'm not going to fade it. And it's gone. So yeah, this tool can come in handy for an array of things. So be sure to give it a try. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for my future tutorials. Thanks, guys. Bye.